Welcome to the deluxe room here at the Plaza Hotel and Casino. So I booked this room online on a Sunday. The list price was $63 plus $8 in taxes. I had to pay up front plus $30 resort fee and $3 tax on that. About $104 out the door on a Sunday. This room about 325 square feet, although it feels bigger than that, I would say. You can get one king bed like I did, or you can also get two queen beds. Some of the amenities it comes with are 32 inch TV. This is probably my favorite amenity though. This is cool. Mini fridge, unstocked, except for the fact they give you two water bottles. So two complimentary waters to come with this. You do have a small desk space you can work at. They do have a sofa here off to the side if you wanna relax, do some reading. I did not get a great view. I am here in the North Tower. My view is looking out west towards the mountains, so nighttime sunset can be kind of cool, but not like the most pleasing view during the daytime. You do have your bathroom here, which is where you will have your safe. Sink, mirror, tower, and show, shower and tub combo, excuse me, in this room, ironing board and iron. You'll have a lot of the basic necessities that you will have in pretty much any other hotel room here in Las Vegas. Cleanliness of the room. So if you guys have been watching for a while, you guys have seen different places I've stayed at where some were like extremely clean and I've seen some that were really, really not. This place right now, I'd say it's probably about the middle of the road. Okay, coming in here, first impression, pretty good. Um, I think whoever was in here the night before me though, did have a bit of a party in here because there's one sticky stain on the table here. Looks like someone spilled their drink that got missed. Uh, looks like another drink stain on the wall here. So again, looks like someone spilled it. So I think whoever had their, had to clean this, had their work cut out for them the night before from whoever was here. Um, one tabletop here and the mirror looks like they weren't wiped down at all. Toilet, the seat was clean. Fortunately, that's like the most important part. The seat itself was clean. Underside, the base of it looks like it was only maybe give it one wipe, so it was kind of hit or miss on that. Shower is clean, fortunately. So uh, only other thing too is headboard, had some mark on the headboard. I'm not quite sure what it was. I don't know if it's left over from when they were wiping and maybe it just got left behind. But as far as the cleanliness factor, I'd say it's about average. Enough of the room, let's head out. One of the cool things about this gym here at the Plaza is the variety of equipment they have. They have stuff that like lots of other hotels and casinos don't. So of course they got your treadmills and your cardio equipment. They do have some of your free weights here, but they've got like med balls, they got a footwork ladder. They have stuff that I used to do when I was like playing sports like as a kid and a young adult. So they've got tires you can flip. They've got uh, stuff that you would do like in CrossFit here. Kind of rare to see at a gym here in the Vegas area.
Hope you guys enjoyed my 30 second workout. I was just kind of goofing around showing you guys some of the stuff they have. Definitely not enough for me to get in a good sweat, but they do have a good variety of stuff here at this gym at the plaza, and we got a lot more stuff to go see. So here on the main casino floor at the plaza, you will have numerous options to choose from for slots and table games. They've got about 500 slot machines just in this section alone. When it comes to the table games, the minimums you're gonna be looking at are blackjack is 10 bucks, face up Pi gow is 15, craps is 10, single zero roulette is 15, and double zero roulette is 10. Three card poker, 10 bucks, ultimate Texas Hold'em, $10. Keep in mind though, here at the plaza, there is no high limit room for slots and for table games though. You can bet up to about $250 on one particular slot, and on blackjack, they do have one you go up to $2,000 a hand, but they do not have a separate high limit room. With over 500 slots to choose from, they are gonna have ones that are under a dollar per bet. So if you're a low roll, you wanna stretch your budget, you can do that as well. But the cool thing is they also have some of the classics here, like pinball. If any of you wanna try your luck at Kino here at the Plaza, you can, it's right here on the main casino floor level next to the table games. And if you don't like live table games with other humans, you can always go electronic. This here is the add-on to the casino where they add a whole nother gambling section of about 80 machines between slots, video poker, and electronic table games that you can play in here. So right next to the carousel bar, you have a whole separate section next to the food court where you can come and you can gamble here. And the one big thing that a lot of people like about this is this room right here is 100% non-smoking. So if you prefer to gamble, but you prefer to do it without the smoke, this is one of your choices to come and gamble at. If you guys want to get a big meal while you're here at the plaza, one popular spot is right by the registration desk and it's Hash House Agogo. I have eaten at this location and others in Las Vegas and California. The place is good. It's a huge meal that you can get. So if you want bang for your buck for that kind of food, especially in the morning time, you're trying to fill yourself up for the day, it's a good option. For all you pizza lovers out there, this is your option here is pop-up pizza. So this is at the south end of the property by the parking garage. You come over here. If you want a slice of cheese pizza, it's about $4.75. A slice of pepperoni is five bucks. If you want a full, uh, cheese pizza is 21 If you want a full pepperoni pizza, it's gonna be $23. But this is your pizza spot here. The food court area right here is next to the new gambling and right between the registration desk. So this is gonna be right around the corner from your coffee shop in this area. This is where you're gonna find several places that you can just get regular food options like anywhere else, like your Subway, your McDonald's. You have a couple other options as well with a Mexican grill. You have a Hawaiian spot. Plus you do have a gift shop here where you can get stuff, you know, like the three shirts for $10. So you do have a variety of food options here, but in this spot, the food court's not gonna be anything, you know, out of the ordinary. It'll do the trick if you got the family, you got a big group and people have different choices on what to eat. Come here, let everybody get whatever they want, sit down and enjoy together. The nightlife option they have here on property, if you guys are looking for something to do in the evening time, the Sand Dollar Lounge is where you will go. So it's open 4 p.m. to 4 a.m. This is where you'll find live music. They do have video poker at the bar. They have pool tables in there. It is rather loud, so it's not a place for conversation, but it is a good spot to grab a drink. You can do some dancing to the band if you like. This is your nighttime spot here on the property. For the sports book lovers out there, if you wanna place your bets on sports and racing, they do have a sports book here at the South End by the parking garage. It is William Hill. I know some of you are okay with William Hill and some of you really don't like it, but this is what they have if you wanna place your bets here. Right next to the sports book at the bar behind me, if you guys wanna grab a drink, your cheapest beer option here is gonna be $3 Pacifico. If you wanna grab a cocktail, you can get those for as cheap as about $8. Although there's plenty of action down here on the main floor, they even have more stuff you can do right upstairs on the second level. Mm -hmm. 
Oscar Steakhouse is one of the more popular steakhouses definitely in downtown Las Vegas, but arguably in the Vegas Valley. So one of the things about it that people like, aside from the quality of it, is the fact that as far as fine dining goes, these prices are actually better than you're gonna find at a lot of other places. And the place here is known for its quality meat. Now, in case anybody doesn't know, the reason this place is called Oscars is because that's a reference to the former mayor of Las Vegas, Oscar Goodman. This here is one of the newest renovations at the Plaza Hotel and Casino. Oscar Steakhouse has expanded to this entire outdoor patio area that has pretty much doubled the capacity for the restaurant. So not only do you have the indoor option that they've had for years to get a view of downtown, you also now have the outdoor option here. So when the weather's nice, the weather's great, you can come, grab your food, grab your drinks. You can hear the music coming from Fremont Street. You can be in the atmosphere of downtown why are you getting to enjoy your dinner and your drinks? Check it out, guys. They got a little wedding chapel here right next to Oscar's Steakhouse. So they can see the piano. I can see they got the pews. They got enough to have a small gathering, plenty of roses. So you could definitely get hitched here in Vegas. Anybody want to play bingo? Come on. One thing that makes the plaza unique is that this is the only place in downtown Las Vegas that actually has bingo. So if you wanna come play anywhere while you're here in this area, this is your option to come. You have numerous times you can do it throughout the week. If for some reason, say here's a couple, one of you likes bingo, one is not a big fan, right outside these doors, they do have several slot machines and video poker machines, so you can play those as well if you like. Another thing they have up here on this floor, if you guys wanna come grab some snacks or even a couple souvenirs, is a store here called Las Vegas Jerkies. It's closed right now, I have been inside it before, but it's kinda of tucked away up here right across from the bingo hall, so if you wanna grab a snack or something before you're playing or while you're playing bingo, this is your spot. To give you guys some history of the plaza, when this place was built back in 1971, it had over 500 rooms and was the largest hotel in the world at the time. Since then, I'm sure you guys have seen this place featured in movies, TV shows, music videos. It's definitely made its appearance numerous times in pop culture. They have this one photo up here right next to the bingo hall. I love this photo. This is my favorite photo of this place. This is from 1972. But I just love the fact that this pool is here. Look how open Fremont Street is before they had the canopy. I mean, I like Fremont Street now. I like downtown Vegas. But this from back in the 70s looks like it was such a cool and fun time to be here in Vegas. I'm glad they got this photo because I think it's awesome. Only a few other things up here on this level, mainly the UPS store if you need to ship anything. This is also where the convention halls are, so you business folks will be having your conferences here. That's pretty much it up on this floor. We gotta head back down. Welcome to the Carousel Bar. This edition here at the Plaza is the most noticeable for anyone staying here or just walking by right here at the end of Fremont Street at the intersection of Maine. They replaced the old Port Cochere that was so iconic and loved by many. They kept the lights, but they replaced it with a bar here now. Now this bar, if you want to get a beer, they're going to be $7 and up. Cocktails, $14 and up. And as, as they make in this video, they do have uh, machines at the bar top that you can play. So they have slots, Video poker, Kino, and blackjack on there. And as far as I know, it's the only place that has outdoor slots that you can play. Lots of places have blackjack you can play at the pools, but as far as outdoor slots and video poker, it's the only one that I know of in all of Las Vegas. Also part of the latest renovations here that they've done is added a pink box donuts. So this is where if you got your sweet tooth, you can come and get your fix. 
There's numerous pink box donuts locations uh, all around, but this one right here in downtown is the newest one here at the plaza. If you have your sweet tooth, this is the spot. Look what I just noticed in here. <laughs> their stanchions are filled with sprinkles. And in case you guys need a good laugh today, check out their tagline. Let's wrap this up now. So at the plaza, right? Here where I stayed in downtown. So we'll talk about uh, things to keep in mind, pros, cons, employee shout outs, who this place could be ideal for, all this sort of fun stuff that I usually do. So uh, one thing when you book your place here uh, for this room, be sure that you're logged into your account online because I messed that up. So I was not logged in, at least I don't think I was logged in. So I got her to the front desk. I was like, hey, can I add, um, you know, can I give you my card now, my rewards number, and like, do I can I still get like credit for tier credits? He goes, nah, he goes, it's too late. <laughs> so, you know, oh well, it happens. It was about a 15 minute wait when I got here. The line looked worse than it was. They had four people working at the desk though, so it moved pretty quickly. So 15 minute wait, not too bad at all. Uh, I did stay in the cheapest room. So this is the cheapest one they had listed on their website on a Sunday. So we're out the door, just a little over $100 after you pay room price, resort fee taxes, all that sort of fun stuff. Room itself, um, was adequate, you know, as far as cleanliness, eh, it was enough stuff that was not quite clean that I, you know, put in the video here. So it's like, yeah, it wasn't the cleanest I've seen, but also definitely was not the dirtiest. Okay. I've seen some dirty ones. So as far as the cleanliness factor, you know, it was a bit, uh, middle of the road, if you want to put it that way. Also though, if you're like budget traveling, then you know, it's probably not going to make a huge difference to you. Like, you know, check-in process was good. Room was good enough that it did not take away from like, you know, the rest of my time here and the rest of the experience. So if you're a budget traveler, it'll probably do the trick. Uh, pros for this place, budget friendly. That's one of the biggest things, um, downtown properties in general, but Places like this tend to be more budget friendly. Uh, they do have multiple food options here, so more on the affordable side. So they've got several on uh, the cheaper options available by Vegas standards anyway for food. But they also have Oscar Steakhouse. So they've got those you know cheaper, more affordable options. Then they also have the Steakhouse if you want that high end option as well. Uh, mini fridge. It comes with two waters. That's a nice thing. That's pretty tough to find on this trip. You're probably gonna have to go like off strip uh, to find something like that. They do have the non-smoking section of the casino, so they have that whole um, new area. So those of you who like to gamble but you do not like to smoke, you have that option for you. And this is a better value for like your uh, low roller type player. So that's really what they do here. Their demographic is really that like mid-level um, traveler, mid-level to like um, mid-budget to someone who's like more on a more strict budget. So that mid-roller to like low roller player, they do get some bigger players here. You can you know play blackjack up to two thousand dollars a hand if you want. So they get that sometimes, but their target is much more in that like mid area and you know people who are looking to be more uh, on a budget when they're coming to las vegas parking is free here for hotel guests so that is good you go in and out for the parking uh, without having to pay anything additional for staying here uh check in at the front desk check in was at 4 p.m but if you check in between 12 and 4 if the room is available if it's available they will let you go to the room at no extra charge if it's before 12 p.m i think they charge you like 25 bucks or something for an early check-in so you could possibly get to check in several hours early without having to pay anything and employee shout outs so we'll talk about gabe front desk he checked me in gabe was cool debbie at bingo she was very thorough at explaining bingo so debbie was super helpful if you guys want to do bingo go for it uh kyle the server at oscars so i got to meet him real briefly as i was walking around the outdoor patio up there luis at the carousel bar outside said hi to him he was cool then uh, alexander and ernest work in security two guys i chatted with briefly during my stay here now who's this place going to be best for Budget travelers. So whether you're solo, whether you're a couple, uh, maybe you're coming here in a group. So if you're like bachelor, bachelorette party, you know, not like no big nightclubs and stuff like that here at Plaza. They do have the um, live music at the Sand Dollar Lounge. But if you're a bachelor, bachelorette party and you are on that budget, then you could stay down here and you could have your plans for Fremont Street or head to the Strip, you know, one or two nights while you're here and do that kind of thing. And this could be a good home base for you. Uh, business travelers, it'll do the trick. They do have conference rooms here, so you might be doing a conference either here at Plaza or downtown. Even at the convention center, this place will do the trick for you. And then families. Uh, I saw more families here than I thought I was going to see. Not a ton, okay? So if you don't want to see kids, there's not a ton here. If you go to the pool area, you will definitely see the family. So, you know, they do have the pool, but outside of that, there's really not much for kids on this property. There are other things on Fremont Street right outside 
of the property where you can take uh, kids and things that they would enjoy. Definitely things on and you know on the Strip and other parts of the Vegas Valley as well. But not a huge family property, I would say. So you could stay here on the budget. You could hit the pool with the kids, and then during the daytime, you know, the other half of the day, go out and do other sorts of stuff if you want to do that with the family. Some of the cons of staying here, there is no high limit room. So no high limit room for slots or tables on the casino floor. Uh, there is no spa here. There is no uh, valet either. So again, some of those like higher end amenities that you would find at certain properties, they don't have, they don't really have that here. Um, some people have asked me, you know, about especially downtown Las Vegas, the homeless population security. Yes, here in this area in downtown Las Vegas, right outside these hotels, casinos, you know, in the general area, you may see some people uh, living in tents or, you know, camping out and that sort of thing. Was that any issue while I was here on the property? No, not that I noticed while I was here. So, yes, that element is here, but it did not factor into my stay. That's really all I got for you guys. So did what I could to try to show you as much of the property as I could so you have the best decision to make for yourself when you're coming to Las Vegas so you can stay whatever spot you think is going to be best for you and your situation. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in another video. I'm Jacob. This is My Life in Vegas.